In this video I'm looking at the solution to question 6 of the January 2011 Edexcel M1 paper. This is a question on statics. Uh, the question starts off by describing the situation in a figure 2. So the particle of weight 120 newtons is placed on a fixed rough plane which is inclined at an angle alpha to the horizontal and we're told that tan alpha is equal to 3 quarters. The coefficient of friction between the particle and the plane is 1 half. So we're told that initially the particle is held at rest by a horizontal force of magnitude 30 newtons which acts in a vertical plane containing the line of the greatest slope and the plane through the particle. So all of that information is as in figure 2. And we're asked first of all to show that the normal reaction between the particle and the plane has a magnitude of 114 newtons. In the second part of the question, the horizontal force has been moved and we've now got a force P acting up the slope. So the particle remains in equilibrium and we're asked to find the greatest possible value of P. And then also to find the magnitude and direction of frictional force acting on the particle when P has a particular value equal to 30. Well for the first part of the question then I've added into the diagram the uh, normal reaction that we've been asked to find and also put on there the information about mu equal to a half and tan alpha is three quarters. I would advise you to do this as well. Uh, the fact that tan alpha is three quarters is a way of allowing us to work out easily sine and cosine of alpha. So if we just draw a little right angle triangle tan alpha equal to three quarters would look like this and so the hypotenuse is equal to five. We can see immediately that sine alpha is three-fifths and cosine of alpha are four-fifths so no calculator work really needed there. So for this first part of the question then we're going to resolve forces um, perpendicular to the plane. So looking at that well we've got R obviously is acting away from the plane then the other two forces are acting into the plane so taking the 30 newton force first of all the value of alpha or the angle alpha is as I've shown it there so if we want the force which is into the plane we need this component over here so it's opposite alpha and therefore it's going to be a component using sine alpha and as it's acting into the plane it's minus 30 sine alpha and then looking f at the weight the angle alpha is in this position and we want the component this time which is on the adjacent side of the triangle so it's a cosine so then we've got minus the weight 120 cosine alpha we're told that this is an equilibrium so these equate to zero Therefore, R is 30 sine alpha. Well, sine alpha, we've already discussed from our little diagram up above, is um, 3 over 5. And also then plus 120 cosine alpha, and we can see that cosine alpha is 4 over 5. And if you evaluate those, you do indeed get 114 newtons. There are four marks for this part of the question. A, a method mark for attempting to do this resolving and then two A marks given for getting the correct components. And finally another A mark for getting the answer 114. But remember that that was given in the question so you have to, it's your, really the A mark is being given for this part here showing that you um, does come to the answer that you're given in the question. So a total there are four marks. In the second part of the question the uh, force P has actually changed so rather than uh, acting horizontally 
it's now acting up the slope so that means that r is going to change as well so first of all we need to calculate the value of r so resolving um, again away from the slope see there are only two forces acting now perpendicular to the slope there's r and then acting into the slope is the component of the weight 100 cosine alpha so this gives us a value of 96 newtons for r it's uh, we can therefore calculate the frictional force because we know that f equals mu r this will be f max is equal to mu r and therefore with a value of mu equal to half this is equal to 48 newtons now the greatest possible value of p means that the frictional force must be acting against the possible motion it must be on the point of moving up the slope so I've indicated that on the diagram that the force F is acting down the slope and P is acting up so resolving now along the slope in an upward direction we have that the maximum value of P and F is acting down so it, its maximum value and then minus also the weight or the component of the weight which is 120 sine alpha so that's again looking at this time the opposite side of this triangle here so it's sine of the angle alpha and it's in equilibrium still so that's equal to zero so putting in the values that we know we get the p max then is equal to the f max which is 48 and then plus 120 multiplied by sine alpha which is three fifths and that gives a maximum value of 120 newtons for p in the final part of the question we're asked um, to find the frictional force and the direction of it <coughs> if p is equal to 30 so leaving our diagram as it is we can write now that 30 minus f minus 120 sine alpha is equal to zero and if we calculate that we find that f is um, equal to 30 minus 120 multiplied by 3 fifths so taking f over to one side of the equation you're left with 30 minus 120 times 3 fifths and that gives you negative 42 newtons so that was for the my diagram as I've got it drawn so therefore f has a magnitude of 42 newtons and it must be acting up the plane because we've got negative in our equation. Well, the marking in this part of the question was, first of all, to give an MA mark for doing the resolution away from the plane, perpendicular to the plane, and another A mark for getting the value of 96 newtons for R. A method mark for using f equals mu r and then method and two answer marks for resolving up the plane so a1 and a1 and a final a mark for getting the value 120 so in total uh, there are eight marks for part b of the question in the last part of the question three marks available m1 a1 for doing the resolving and then a final a mark for getting the 42 newtons up the plane so three marks available in that part of the question well that's the end of the solution to this question solutions to other questions can be found at www.furthermaths.org.uk